What's going on there, YouTube? Vaping with Twisted 420 has returned. And today, we're talking about a very special tank here, people. I'm glad I finally gave one a try. It's the H Cigar Typhon GT. Let's go ahead and have a look at it, why don't we? All right, folks, and we're back. <coughs> we are back once again. Vaping with Twisted 420 has returned. And today we're gonna to talk about a pretty damn nice atomizer. It's the Typhoon GT. Uh, I got this at Civil Vapes in Humble, Texas when I went to go pick up my custom V3 Trionics Flip. I did the vape shop review. Some of you may remember that video. Well, yeah, that's where I got it from. But normally I see it for sale for like 50 bucks, 55 bucks or even uh, on Fast Tech, I don't know, I think it's like 30 bucks or something like that. Um, but yeah, I got it from Civil. They hooked me up with this uh, with this fella, uh, thankfully. Shout out to my homie Big Q over at Civil Vapes. He hooked me up with this uh, Typhoon GT from H Cigar, and it has been good. Now, I'm gonna admit, initially, the first five builds, it went horrible. But there was a reason it went horrible, and uh, I got some help over on ECF forum. Um, they had linked something from another forum uh, telling me about a small problem with the H Cigar Typhons, and I'll, I'll explain all that when we go up close so I can uh, show you what I was going on. But once I got this thing set up right, it has been a dream, folks. It has been a dream. I've been running this uh, same coil for quite some time. This is like the sixth or seventh build I've tried on here, and uh, it's been working great. It's been working great. Let me have a, uh, have a toke real quick. It's good stuff. Good stuff. For those of you who are not familiar, um, Typhon GT is, to me is similar to uh, like a K-Fun or a Squape. Uh, it uses that vacuum system to uh, feed juice to the coil and uh, it has a reduced chamber and all that good stuff which makes the flavor awesome. It's another one of those. It is up there now in my opinion with the Squape, the K-Fun and so forth. Uh, maybe the Expromiser, that's going to be coming soon. And the Expromiser actually followed a few cues from this guy. Uh, one of the cool things about this, much like the Squape, you can take the coil out without draining the liquid and leave the liquid sitting there to the side, which I'll show you when we rebuild it. Uh, so yeah, I love that. I love that about the Squape, and I'm going to love that about the Expromiser. I got two of those on the way. Um, it's just like, a, I'll, I'll explain all that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll dive up close here in a second. We'll take a look at the packaging. We're going to rebuild it. All that good stuff. I've just been using micro coils and cotton. And I've seen people talk about uh, Phil Basardo's build with the stainless steel mesh and all that. But I don't like stainless steel mesh. Uh, micros and cotton work fine in here for me. Uh, it does it does the job. Um, also, interesting video that will be coming up. I got the uh, Typhon GS, the little fella. I got it sitting on the iTaste VV3 filled with some um, Madrina from Suicide Bunny. It is off the chain too. That's coming up too in another video. EV Cigarette sent this to me for review. We'll get to that at some point. Let me have a talk on it too while we're here. Nice, love this little fella, love this little fella. But it's not about that. I just wanted to show you guys that that is coming up. It's about this fella today. But yeah, it's very similar to a few other uh, tanks out there. And uh, it's a beast. Now this is the H Cigar model. Like I said, it goes for about 50 bucks normally. The real one's like, what, 180 bucks? Something like that, 180 bucks? Yeah, that's, that's crazy, that's crazy. And now, uh, I've seen on Safer Vapors and a few other threads that Fast Tech had these originally. They were selling for like 25 bucks, 30 bucks. And um, the decks on them weren't in stainless steel, they were chrome brass, and that turned a lot of people away. But I don't think those were H Cigar models. All of the H Cigar models thus far have been all stainless steel, no chrome brass on the deck, on the building deck. So that's a big plus. But they did have another little screw up, which we will talk about. But yeah, I've been loving this son of a bitch. And I will have a video coming up. I got rid of my Aqua in the trade, but I will have a video coming up of the K-Fun versus the Typhon versus the Squape. That's gonna be a good, fun video. But uh, yeah, without much saying much else, folks, let's dive up close. We'll take this thing apart, rebuild it, all that good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and do it. 
All right, folks. Uh, one thing I want to uh, show right before we get started um, is one thing about the Type 1 GT. It's 23 mil diameter. So that means it's not going to sit flush on a lot of different mechanicals. But on top of my custom V3 Tronics flip, yeah, I'm bragging, bitches. Nah, I'm just saying. Uh, on top of uh, here, it looks good because it's got this big nut up top that's just uh, a big wide, like 24 millimeter. So it fits on here nice. I like it on the flip. It does, it does work on the flip. But let me show you how it looks on a 22 millimeter mod. I got the Caravella clone sitting here. Let's just thread it on here. Let me bring it in a little closer. As you can see, there's a little bit of overhang. So that's one thing to know about the Typhon GT. It's gonna have overhang on most of your, uh, on any of your 22 millimeter mods. Uh, so it's not gonna look perfectly flush. That's just a heads up. It's not that bad, but it's noticeable. I will say that. But here's a positive thing about the 23 millimeter. The Pro Vary with the Pro Ring. I got a uh, Pro Ring on here from Loki Labs, which I use to make stuff sit flush. Uh, with the pro ring on here the pro ring on the pro berry is like a perfect 23 millimeter so if you want to build a little bit higher coil you can rock it and make it look good on the uh damn it i'm trying to zoom out yeah make it look good on the pro berry with the pro ring doesn't that look nice yes that looks very nice it looks very nice but uh i like that that's just something you guys should know if you're one of those ocd people who are really worried about fitment and uh, wanting stuff to look flush. All right. Now, now that we got past that, let's go to the packaging. And we're going to talk about something interesting here in a minute. Here's the box Typhoon GT repairable atomizer. You even got the little trademark logo and made in Germany. Let me tell you, boy, China is getting vicious. <laughs> They're getting vicious with the cloning. They're even cloning the boxes. But uh, I'll show you what all comes in here. But uh, inside the box, you get a bunch of spare O rings. And uh, you get some silica, some silica, and you get another stem for airflow control. I'll, uh, I'll show you all that in a second. But uh, really, that's it. You get the box, you get this bag full of goodies, and an extra stem for different uh, air draw, uh, for a different draw on the son of a bitch. You know what? I'll just show it to you in a minute. I don't like trying to explain stuff without having other stuff to explain stuff. But uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to start the... Uh, the breakdown process on this guy. Damn it. Can't get my focus right. All right. So here's what you do to uh, take this apart. I'm going to pop this uh, drip tip out, which the drip tip is pretty sweet. It's kind of dirty too. What the fuck? It's got Typhon on the drip tip, which is pretty sweet. We're going to pop that off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew the bottom. And this is how you fill it up as well as take it apart for rebuilding. Bam. Now you see that? I got all my juice sitting here chilling. That stem right there is what pipes up to this chimney right here that you can unscrew it and uh, screw back on. So that's pretty sweet. I love that about this thing. You just uh, unscrew it, bam, your juice is over there chilling. You can tweak your coil, work on it, do whatever the hell you want. So yeah, um, let's take a look at this base. One cool thing about the uh, Typhoon GT, it has an adjustable 510. Let me grab a little screwdriver and I'll show you. So if you want it to sit flush on some stuff, you have that option. It's got a little O-ring right under there for insulation. But uh, bam, look at that. You can uh, you can screw that thing in and out to uh, fit devices, which is pretty sweet. You can even have it sit flush. But um, let's start taking this thing apart. At the very bottom, yeah, this is the airflow, which leads right up to the center underneath the coil. And uh, kind of like a pretty similar to a K fun uh, and a squate <laughs> for that matter. They all provide airflow directly underneath the coil. I got juice everywhere. This is going to be a juicy time. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me wash all this off, grab some paper towels, and I'll set this thing up so we can uh, see how to take it apart and rebuild it. All right, folks. So here's our Typhoon GT. Uh, this O ring at the base matches up with this, uh, with this uh, PMMA tank. To help secure it down as well as thread into the top of this fella just thought i would throw that in there but uh let's take this thing apart what we're gonna do is uh this chimney top unscrews and there's also an o-ring on this chimney top and what that o-ring does is it squeezes the uh the wick down tight so there's no uh there's no flooding that's why there's an o-ring up there and it helps secure the top connection and on the top of it it threads onto the chimney over here. 
You see what I'm saying here? I'm, I hate explaining technical shit. I'm no good at it, but you guys get the idea. This threads onto that. This threads onto this. And uh, it stops juice from flooding. Okay, and here's my coil. This is a simple little micro coil. Um, let me tell you about a few things here. Damn it, I need a better view of this shit. Hold on. Yeah. All right, let me try this. Let me try this camera angle. I've been trying to work on something. But uh, anyway, there's a little, you basically have what is uh, essentially a cup around here. Let me show you what this cup does. You can either push it in, and uh, what that does is allow you to get to the build deck easier and set up your coil. But then, when it's kind of like a little telescoping uh, parameter here, a little, bam. And then it goes all the way back up. Everything matches up, bada bing, bada boom. This also comes out. And it just press fits into that uh, little groove within there. But uh, what I usually do when I build is I take it all the way out up until I get ready to put it back together. But uh, we just got a little bit of organic cotton in here. We'll go ahead and pull that out. Damn, some of that wasn't wicking. Mm, that's a bad sign. Is that a fly? No, no, that's just a piece of cotton. All right. <coughs> Thought it was a fly. All right, folks, you see my coil there, right? Let me tell you what the problem was with this thing from the, from the factory. Let me, you know what, let me pop this coil out. And I'm gonna show you a couple other little quirks about this in particular clone that I got. Don't know if it's like that on all of them, but when you uh, screw and unscrew these heads, the whole shaft is screwing and unscrewing. Uh, maybe mine is just a defect, but I've dealt with it. I've, uh, I haven't bitched about it. Uh, it's a clone, what are you gonna do? But uh, yeah, as you can see, the whole shaft is spinning and coming up out of that thing. That's one thing that's been kind of sucky. Let me get that coil out of there. See, bam, get, get out of there, coil. Damn it, all right, cool. But yeah, these shafts, uh, these posts come all the way out. Damn, I have a, my coil got hot as shit. I don't know what I was doing. But um, that's the only thing that sucks. I'm pretty sure those are supposed to stay in there. <laughs> but uh, now that I got those out, damn, I got juice everywhere too. Now that I got those out, you can see right here is that airflow hole. And I'm gonna show you what was wrong with mine out of the gate. What was in there was this insulator and this little chimney. As I showed you, it came with two different chimneys to, con uh, to control the draw, uh, to make it tighter or a little bit looser. Well, this insulator right here was stuck off in there and uh, I read up on ECF on the Typhon GT discussion uh, thread that uh, a lot of times this insulator is chewed up at the bottom and it won't let any air flow through. So I had to break, tear up the insulator to get it out for one. But once I got it out, I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna leave it out. So it's a really airy draw on mine with the insulator and the stem missing. But uh, I like that, so that works out for me. So yeah, the stem was screwed up. And what happened is the first four or five builds, uh, no matter how I built them, I thought it was a problem with me and how much wick I was using. Maybe it wasn't wicking right, but there was zero airflow, like sucking a golf ball through a garden hose. There was no airflow whatsoever and everything just flooded and leaked and it was horrible and I was getting pissed until I read about that on the forum. So what I did, like I said, is pull the insulator and the stem all together and now I got a real nice loose draw, which is perfect for me. So uh, that's one thing to know uh, going into it. If your H Cigar Typhon is, is, is not working right, pull that stem and that insulator and you'll be good to go. I'm pretty sure you can get replacement insulators if you want to put those stems back in, but I'm not worried about it because like I said, I like the draw. But anyway, other than that, this thing's pretty damn simple. All you do is uh, build your coil. You got a positive and negative. Like I said, these things shouldn't be coming out like that. That's kind of kind of janky. Uh, you just build your coils, positive and negative, screw them down, and uh, pop this top on. Line your wick up across each side, cut them, pop that top back on, fill it up with juice, and there you go, bada bing, bada boom. It sounds easy, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make it look difficult as fuck. <laughs> but uh, let me pull these janky posts. Like I said, I do have janky posts. I gotta kinda give them a little bit of leeway up top and then put them back in there. That way I can actually build a coil on them. But yeah, see, that jacket's just loose, it's weird. I don't even know if the real one's like that. If so, that's kinda janky all the way around. But uh, it is what it is. But I got both of my uh, posts up a bit to where I can stick a coil in there. Now, what we got here is something interesting. A uh, dude hit me up on my uh, Facebook page for Vaping with Twisted 420. He's like, hey man, you wanna check out some of my jigs? He's like, yeah, I make them out of wood and uh, you can get them on eBay for like 10 bucks. I was like, okay, cool. So I'm gonna give a shout out to that dude. 
uh, Pierce, Pierce, uh, not Pierce Morgan. That's a bank, isn't it? Pierce, Pierce Hodges. Pierce Hodges is the guy that makes these. I'll put a link in the description uh, of his uh, eBay page. Like I said, 10 bucks a pop for this little fella. Uh, you can't change out the stem, but uh, it's a wide bore stem. Oh, it's wide bore. What the fuck am I talking about? It's a, it's a pretty uh, good size bit that's right here. And what I like to do on here is use a good size bit so I can fit more cotton through there to make sure I don't get any flooding or any uh, any dry hits. I like to put a lot of cotton in my channels. So uh, this bit on here is good to go. Yeah, shout out to Pierce one more time. We're gonna build a coil on here. It's gonna be my first time building a coil on this little fella. Uh, I kinda liked it. It's got the burnt wood look. It's just a nice little uh, like clear coated piece of wood with a little wing nut. But uh, I'm gonna build a micro coil on here and that's what we're gonna use on the Typhoon GT. So uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna get out some good old fashioned 28 gauge canthal and uh, do a little bit of torching and uh, we'll wrap a coil on this bad boy. All right, folks, I got a little bit of 28 gauge canthal that I just torched. And uh, what I'm gonna do is just loosen up this wing nut. I made a little hook motion with my wire and I'm just going to put it under here and trap it. Bada bing, bada boom, you know? And I'm assuming what I do now is just wrap a micro. Oh shit, overlap, overlap. <laughs> I got this. I got that. I was doing so good too up until then. All right, and I don't even know how many wraps I'm at. I've just been like going for it. What am I at? Uh, like seven wraps right now. I'm gonna make it a full eight and we'll call it a day. Do, 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 do. But what I'm gonna do is position my wire in such a way that it uh, is ready to go when I stick it in the Typhon. So yeah, I'm gonna have the wire go in two separate directions. I'm just gonna skinch these guys together. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and there we go. I'll just uh, cut the rest of that off. We'll go on about business. That wasn't too bad. I make most stuff look difficult, but uh, that didn't go too bad. And bam, there is my little micro coil. Now, I don't give a damn how perfect a micro coil looks. I always torch them. That's just me. I always torch them. So, this will be no different. We got our wire going two different directions. I'm just going to torch them for a little bit and we'll chunk her in the Typhon. All right. All right, so here we go. I got my got my coil here. All I'm gonna do is sit her off in here and just uh, trap these leads around here. And uh, oh yeah, I'm using the screwdriver, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna trap these wires. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. All right, you know what? Hold on, I'm trapping the wires. That's what's happening right now. Real detailed stuff is hard for me on camera. I'll get that together one day. Oh, son of a bitch. It popped back out. Ah, damn it. And then the whole fucking thing spins. Gosh, damn it. Yeah, yeah. Mother, son of a... All right, finally got him. All right, now what I'm gonna do is just stick the screwdriver in here and raise the coil up a bit. Bam. You want it sitting, uh, damn it, is my focus off? It has been for a while, hasn't it, son of a bitch. You just want the coil sitting up off the uh, that airflow hole a little bit. And uh, yeah, basically, it's just got a nice little, little coil sitting there. Now I'm just gonna grab my fingernail trimmers. And uh, son of a motherfucker. Ah, there they went, all right, there we go. All right, never mind. I'm just gonna grab these and snip a reenie. Do, 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 do. Cool. And there is my coil. Let's uh let me chunk it on 
my China 20 watt real quick. All right, folks, I popped it on the old uh, Segeli 20 watt here. See how she's glowing. Oh yeah, she's glowing, right? Let me turn this light off. Yeah. Glowing from the inside out. She came out to right at 1.3 ohm. So yeah, looks good, looks good. Looks like we got a good micro coil. What we'll do now is put a little bit of cotton in that bad boy and um, set it up. Show you guys how this thing goes fully together, all right? All right, folks, here's what you wanna gonna do. Here's what you're gonna wanna do, <laughs> son of a bitch. Um, you're gonna wanna take this little fella right here, and what it is is that coil is gonna line up with these wick slots right here. I'm gonna go ahead and, this is where it's gonna be normal height. I'm gonna go ahead and push it down a bit so we can stick some cotton in there. I got some good old fashioned Maxim organic cotton. I'm just gonna take out a little bit, nothing too crazy. That should do it right there, actually. We're just gonna take a good bit of cotton. And um, you gotta play around on this Typhon with different amounts of wick because too much, you'll get dry hits. Not enough, you could get flooding. Um, but I usually just try to get enough to uh, go in those channels securely. And uh, I'll cut off a lot of excess here, but uh, let's go ahead and thread this bad boy in there. Okay, like that. And the cool thing about this little wall you got right here, you can adjust it any way you want. So you don't have to get it perfect right before you do it. So what I'm gonna do now is, and this song bitch can be a bit of a pain in the ass to pull up sometimes, bam, we're gonna pull that up. And you'll notice all the way pulled up because you got your serial number in here and the Typhon GT logo, which is pretty cool because you can see that in the tank. But just make sure there's no gap around that perimeter just make sure it's nice and snug and what you can do is you can adjust it see you can adjust how you want it so you can get it perfect every single time so what I'm gonna do is adjust it to where it's just right and bam there we go we got our cotton sitting in those channels and we are good here's where I like to cut mine this is where I've been most successful at I usually cut it up to right before the wall usually cut it right about damn it you can't even see it right about there so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that I'm gonna do it off camera yeah damn it now I can do it on camera hold on okay I'm actually gonna have to cut that down a bit it's a little fluffy bam there we go and I actually got a little too much on this side to my preference so I'm just gonna trim her up a bit and about like that is how I like to rock it now what I'm needing to remember before I juice this thing up is what juice did I oh yeah I'm using a vape apes goji melon berry let me go grab a bottle of that which I love <laughs> and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, wick this thing up get some juice on it let me tell you folks this shit right here this shit right here this goji melon berry from vape apes it's almost gone. This is my shit right here. And I'm gonna use it, since that's what we got in the tank, I'm gonna use it to uh, juice it up a little bit. So we'll just go through and, some people don't even put juice on it. They just let the tank feed it once it's all put back together. But I like to juice my stuff up beforehand. Just juice it up. We're just gonna paint some happy clouds on this cotton using goji melon berry. Yeah, there we go. All right, now that she's all uh, juiced up, let's see how she fires. Uh, 1.3 ohm at what, 16.4 watts? Oh yeah. She's getting down. All right, cool. Now that we know she fires well, let's put her back together. All right, we got juice on the, uh, on the wick. Everything's good. Here's what you're gonna do, and you wanna do this part kind of careful. You're gonna take this, Line it up. And you don't want to move those wicks. So that's why you just kind of just don't go in there all barbaric. Damn it, if I could find how to thread this bitch on, it would be all right. Damn it. See, it shifted the coils a little bit. All right, now, <laughs> where was I? Some people, also, some people uh, usually 
put like some extra cotton or put another like flavor wick over the top of the coil. And I tried that, it works pretty good, but it works fine without it also. But uh, we'll just take this guy. And we'll just screw her down. And there we go. See there? Uh, that O-ring is clamping down on this wick. If uh, you guys have seen the Fogger, the Fogger attempted to do something. That clone, it attempted to do something like this, but it doesn't do it nearly as well. And uh, this thing is somewhat of a pain to build on, but not that bad. Not that bad, really. All right, now, we got our coil. There it is. Bada bing, bada boom. Micro coil off in there. And uh, all we're going to do now is screw it on here. Be careful when screwing this on. Once it gets tight, don't screw it too much more, or you may shift that inside, and it'll shift the wicks out of place. That's why I try to keep an eye on the wicks when I do it. And just long enough as it's snug. But you don't want those wicks to get out of place. That should be good right there. All right, and now boom, we'll let all the liquid come back in. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. And there she is. That is the Typhon GT rebuilt. It's pretty easy. I made it look a lot more difficult than it is, but I will say compared to the Squape and the K-Fun, it may be slightly more difficult to build just because you got all these different parts and everything. But uh, let me clean all this juice off of here and uh, we'll back out, vape on it, talk about it. I think I'll put it back on the flip. 1.3 ohm should do well on here. Let me take a toke real quick before we back out. Good stuff. All right, folks, and there we are. We just built the Type and GT. Now, I, made it, I might have made it look like more of a pain in the ass than it is, but that's just because I was doing it on video. I've rebuilt this thing quite a few times with success. It, it went well, and it went well this time. But I will admit, it is a little bit more difficult to build considering all the parts involved versus a cape on and a scrape. But with all that being said, Twisted, how does it vape? And let me tell you, folks, it vapes fucking wonderfully. <laughs> Let's go ahead and have a toke, why don't we? Flavor is awesome. Uh, the tank is pretty hefty. I want to say it's right at 4.5 mils on the tank side. Uh, they also have an M tank, kind of like, uh, I know I got a cape on here. Kind of like on the cape ones. They have a clear section that makes all this, all this clear. I've seen it on some site. But uh, that would be cool if you could do that. That would be pretty neat. Um, I'm pretty sure the one that works on the original fits this one too because it is a one-to-one -one clone. I like it. There's a lot I like about this thing, folks. Uh, it's kind of a pain. Like I said, it's pretty big and it's pretty heavy. Those two things I will admit, but it holds a good amount of juice and uh, the system just works. I like that you don't have to drain all your liquid just to mess with the coil or rebuild it. You know what I mean? You just keep on trucking. That's what I love about it. Uh, I love the uh, serial number thing in here through the classic... Uh, Classic. Through the plastic window, you can see the uh, Typhoon GT logo and the uh, serial number. I got number 3,215 of the clone, I guess. Ah, who knows? Probably a fake serial. It doesn't matter. It's a cigar clone, people, and it is nice. I am uh, very happy with it. It is um, almost every day, normally, just like the Squape, just like the K-Fun. It goes with me to work uh, with a tank full of my favorite juice. It's great. I'm going to put it right up there with those other two, as mentioned. It might be a little bit more tricky but it's so worth it once you get it set up. Like I said, I've only done organic cotton and micro coils. I'm pretty sure the stainless steel mesh thing works well. Like I said, I don't like messing with that. I'm pretty sure there's all kinds of great ways to build it, but micros and cotton win again. That's how they work. They work with everything. 28 gauge uh, canthal, a little bit of organic cotton, wrap them up, torch them a little bit. It's just great. The flavor's good. Uh, the coil lasts forever. When, uh, whenever the coil gets all grody and the cotton gets all grody, I just pull it out, dry burn it, stick some more cotton in. Don't even have to rebuild it. That's a big plus. I love tanks like that. That's awesome. I love that about this. Let's go ahead and have another tote. Like I said, the thing you got to watch watch out for on the H cigar version is that plastic insulator, that stem off in there. With it fully removed, I love the airflow. It, you can hear it too when I'm hitting it. it it's, uh, it's pretty wide open. If you don't like that, 
you maybe you can get another insulator I'm pretty sure you can get another insulator somewhere maybe just cut one down the size and pop one of those different size stems in there and you'll be good if you like a tighter draw but I did what I had to do and uh, I was like fuck it let's just pull everything and it's worked out great I'm really happy with it I think it looks damn good on this flip uh, like I said the 23 millimeter thing it has going for it is awesome since it's at 1.3 the proberry is being a little fidgety let's see let's see if it'll fire this bad boy Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. I don't even know what it's set to, but it's getting down and it looks good. It looks damn good on the Proberry. Not bad at all. Um, I'm in love with the thing. I was gonna grab another mod. Yeah, I'll grab it just for instance. The Segeli Legend, which is like 23, 24 mil. Yeah, it looks, son of a bitch. <laughs> it looks good on here too. It's nice. It looks good on everything, just about. Just remember, it's a huge ass tank. It's awesome. It's awesome. But yeah, folks, it's great. You don't need to get airflow from the 510. Airflow is right there on the side. Uh, it works good. The flavor is fucking amazing. It is another one of those. It's like a K Fun in, in the Squake type situation. It, it's different from them, but it's similar to them in the way that it works and uh, in the way that it functions, if you know what I mean. That whole vacuum principle is a winner. Um, like I said, the Expromiser is part K-Fun, part Typhon, and I got it coming up at some point whenever they arrive. It's going to be sweet. But it's not about that. I keep getting I'm, I'm excited for that. I can't wait for that. But I'm really happy with this. Thank you, Big Q and Civil Vapes, for hooking me up with this H Cigar Typhon. It is, uh, it is the bee's knees. It is the kitty's titties. I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, like I said, the bill's not that bad. It might be a little trickier for some people, but um, once I got it down, I got it to work real good. Let me have another talk real quick. Hmm, that's great. That's great stuff. But yeah, folks. Oh, damn it, I don't know why I burped. I think it's that jambalaya I ate. It was good. It was real good. But uh, yeah, folks, there it is. It's the Typhoon GT by H Cigar. I don't know why I always ramble and get off track, get off subject. But uh, it's a really, really awesome tank. Don't let me downplay it any bit. It is badass. And uh, the build's not that bad. If you're used to rebuildables, you should be able to master it. Uh, with time, it might take a few builds, but uh, it's just an awesome tank. It looks good. It's unique. The flavor is fucking awesome, and uh, that's what I got. That's what I got. Uh, like I said, shout out to Civil Vapes again for hooking me up with it. Um, I'll I'll try to find some links of different places you can buy it. Uh, like I said, I know damn near everybody has it, or some people are out of stock. I did some searching earlier. Long story, but uh, yeah, pick one up. Yes, for sure. Typhoon GT is the awesomeness. I'm glad I finally got one. I kept telling people I was going to get one, but now I got one and it's awesome. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to keep on vaping. And most importantly, you stay sexy, YouTube. I'm out.